Hello and welcome. We start in North Africa, where Egypt is set for a massive boost in its defense sector. The United States has approved the sale of 720 Stinger missiles to Egypt worth $740 million. The U.S. State Department said in a statement that the sale will help improve the security of its friend. Washington described Egypt as an important force for political stability and economic growth in the region. The move highlights the growing Egypt-U.S. ties amid heightened tensions in the North Africa and West Asia. Now, it comes after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken visited Cairo last week and hailed the partnership with Egypt. Egypt is a key mediator in efforts to broker a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Its mediation efforts have improved ties with the U.S., which earlier raised concerns over human rights under President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. However, the Stinger missiles deal is likely to add to a backlog of military supplies by the United States. The missiles are already in high demand due to their effectiveness in Ukraine against Russian air attacks. U.S. has already received orders from Taiwan and NATO allies for the missiles. Earlier this year, several NATO members reportedly placed a $700 million order for missiles, extending the production line backlog through to 2029. Egypt's new order will further add to this growing demand for the missiles. Now, the Stinger is a man-portable surface-to-air missile system. That means it can be launched by a soldier or a trained civilian who typically holds it on their shoulder. However, Egypt will put the missiles on vehicles equipped with the Avenger launcher system. The missiles are lightweight, compact, mobile and low-cost. It can hit targets flying as high as 11,500 feet and has a range of about 8 kilometers. The missiles will boost Egypt's defense capabilities and protect it against potential air threats. Egypt has the most powerful military in the Arab world. It is also considered the strongest in Africa by its fighting capabilities. As per the Global Firepower Report, Egypt holds the 15th position globally. In terms of military expenditure, Egypt holds the third largest defense budget in Africa at $9.4 billion. It trails behind Algeria with $21.6 billion and Morocco with $12.8 billion. And uh, globally, Cairo ranks as the 35th country with the highest defense budget. Egypt has also recently provided weapons to its ally Somalia amid the tensions in the Horn of Africa. Now, this reflects Egypt's growing military strength and presence regionally and also globally. For more on this, we have with us Dr. Samuel Alewale, who is a security expert and research fellow at the University of Pretoria. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Doctor, how will the acquisition of the 720 Stinger missiles enhance Egypt's defense capabilities, particularly in context of the regional security dynamics and its role as a mediator in the Gaza crisis? Okay, uh, if we look at the, the recent or the proposed acquisition by Egypt, it has the potential to boost the uh, the military capability of Egypt, especially when we consider it in the light of the emerging dynamics in the region. Uh, the uh, most of the what we have seen in that region in recent time are mostly related to air related uh, uh, attack, uh, missile attack from uh, the Houthis against Israel, uh, the Hezbollah against uh, Israel as well as uh, Israel against uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, hostile forces. So uh, the, the role of uh, air defense system is critical for countries in, around this region at this point in time, for them to defend against uh, uh, incoming uh, 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 drone attack, as well as uh, aircraft uh, 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 and a uh, missile. So acquisition of um, uh, surface to air missile is critical at this point in time. And as well as uh, we, if, if we look at uh, the current capability of um, uh, the current cap capability of uh, Egypt. Egypt, uh, according to uh, the the recent or the latest report of uh, IISS, 
Uh, we noticed that Egypt have about uh, 700 uh, surface to air missile currently under the control of the air, air, uh, air defense command. So uh, this additional order is likely to add or boost the capability uh, of, of uh, Egypt, especially in the near future, because uh, considering uh, the fact that uh, there's a backlog of the uh, order uh, of this particular weapon from the U.S. already, that it, it, the likelihood of, uh, 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 of uh, getting this weapon as soon as possible is uh, not too certain, uh, meaning that the supply of such weapon may not be uh, uh, this year. It may start from maybe the next two, three years, uh, uh, possibly. So these are some of the concerns. Uh, despite the fact that it's going to boost the capability, it may not be in the immediate time. It may be in the next uh, two, three years in addition. Again, it may offer uh, Egypt the opportunity mm. to also uh, retire some of the old uh, inventory as well as a replacement and as a addition to mm. the existing capability time of air defense system. Right. And how does this arms deal <laughs> reflect the current state of U.S.-Egypt relations, especially considering the recent waiver of human rights conditions on military aid. Uh, what are the potential diplomatic repercussions in the Middle East? Okay, I think in time of uh, U.S.-Egypt relation, it shows improvement in U.S.-Egypt relation. Uh, a few months ago, the report that shows that uh, Egypt uh, requested for certain uh, uh, military uh, equipment from the U.S. that was declined. Uh, and uh, after that, there was uh, we the, the other report recently, especially in Aranda, August, September, uh, September uh, this September, that shows that um, Egypt is also uh, placing order on a number of J-10 from, uh, from China. So these are evidence that shows that uh, in recent time, the relationship in time of procurement may not be as perfect as we have seen recently. Uh, and this particular order and approval from the U.S. State Department shows that uh, uh, is a significant uh, indicator of uh, improving relationship in time of uh, uh, procurement, uh, defense procurement from the U.S. So uh, mm -hmm. if we look at the relationship uh, in the holistic context of the uh, uh, security and then uh, the ongoing armed conflict and the role of Egypt in negotiation in this uh, uh, in negotiating peace deal in the in the region. We noticed that and, uh, at this point, U.S. cannot uh, also have to avoid to lose Egypt as a, as a major ally in, in, in the region. Uh, because uh, despite mm -hmm. the fact that U.S. have the interest to boost the military capability uh, and support Israel to, to respond and defend it, uh, itself against uh, uh, current and potential future attack, uh, they also have interest to settle the ongoing conflict in the region. And Egypt play a major role in this area. So uh, because of that, U.S. cannot have a way to lose uh, uh, Egypt as a major uh, uh, ally. Uh, why Egypt also have a, a long-time relation with U.S.? We can say recently uh, U.S. have uh, uh, revised its position in terms of cutting the aid designed for Egypt. So I think for the first time this year, U.S. will be paying the full uh, 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 design uh, or budgeted aid for, for Egypt. Uh, in time of uh, military support, due to the fact that uh, mm. is, uh, the, the country mm. has become a, a critical player in the region and in advancing U.S. interest in the region. Yeah. And, Doctor, the deal is valued at $740 million. What are the economic implications for Egypt's defense budget and the broader economic stability? How might this expenditure affect other areas of public spending? Okay, um, Egypt has a history of huge defense procurement. Egypt is uh, always known for uh, huge defense procurement running into billions. So this is not the first time that Egypt will be making such huge mm -hmm. procurement. Again, we the available evidence does not show whether uh, the, the, uh, the, this particular procurement, that uh, the payments will be at a go or spread over a period of time. So we are, uh, I'm, not, uh, uh, I'm not privileged to have access to that kind of data. We don't have uh, details about how the payments will be made. And again, we can't totally say in time of, uh, uh, beside the fact that we are not too sure when uh, the period uh, that the, 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 the payment will be spread, we are not too sure whether US will also be supporting Egypt one way or the other through uh, foreign aid, given the fact that there is now 
a clear cost in terms of uh, full payment of uh, 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 foreign aid designed for, for Egypt. Uh, in addition to that, um, uh, uh, there's no way, one way or the other, the amount spent on military budget will reduce what is available for other areas of the economy. But if we look at Egypt's defense budget over the years, uh, it has revolved around 4% of uh, uh, government spending and about 1 point something percent of the GDP. Mm. So uh, if not, uh, sometimes around 2%. Two, two so that shows that uh, Egypt have a, a, a significant history of defense uh, uh, spending and is not new in time of uh, uh, food mm. defense procurement. However, there's no way it will not affect other side of the economy, uh, education, uh, 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 right. health sector, and infrastructural development. And we can see recently that Egypt is incurring right. heavy debt to fund some of its uh, infrastructural uh, projects, especially the new capital city and some other, other projects uh, mm. that, uh, commits, that the country is committed to. And again, when we consider the the, the right. dynamics, the defense dynamics in the region, we cannot ignore the need uh, for this particular capability as well. Right. Doctor, as always, great to have you on the show. Thank you very much for your valued insights. Thank you for having me.